終焉の権力世界のあらゆる輪廻は君たちの前にあるしかしそれを背負う能力が必要だ小さな願いが前へと進むための力になってる私たちは律者になったけどそれでも人間のままなの今の願いはこの完璧じゃない物語を完璧に近づけること。Hello, captains. Hi there. Finally, we are headed for Virgin Kiana, which concludes part one of the Honkai Impact Third main story. Yeah, the first volume is coming to a close. How are you feeling? <sighs> well, I have mixed feelings. I'm eager to learn how the final story will go, and I want a happy ending for the Valkyries who've kept me company over the years. But to be honest, I don't really want the story to end. I totally understand, and I bet our captains feel the same way too. But trust me, it's gonna be awesome. The new characters, story development, and events are going to be really exciting. Let's begin with the new characters. First up is the Hersher of Finality, Kiana. She is an imaginary type fire damage dealer who attacks with pistols and a sword. That gives her a lot of options in battle. As Kiana's final form, she looks as though she's matured into her freest self. Like the Hersher of Flame Scion, Hersher of Finality can fight in midair. When in the air, she can either knock enemies airborne or slam them onto the ground. Tap ultimate when not attacking to leap up two times in a row. Leaps are considered evasions and can trigger her ultimate evasion skill. Attacking grants her share of finality descent. At max descent, hold attack to perform a combo attack. Every time she performs a combo attack, she switches between Moonblade stance and Time Flint stance, each with unique attack effects. Also, Hersher of Finality will gain Time Wave when performing her combo attack. With enough Time Wave, hold Evasion to trigger Absolute Time Fracture. During Time Fracture, Hersher of Finality will engulf an area in an Absolute Time Fracture in which time stays completely still. Meanwhile, Hersher of Finality's combo attack will also change. Along with Moonblade Stance and Time Flint Stance, she can also use Finale Stance to deal fire damage to enemies in a large area. Hersher of Finale has many fancy attack moves that highlight her poise and freedom. The innocent and free willing Kiana is back! Yes, Hersher of Finality represents the zenith of Kiana's growth as she has attained true freedom, happiness, and perfection. In a way, it takes her back to her origins when she was upbeat and carefree. Her outfit is a princess skirt that's good for jumping, running, and combat. Her weapons include pistols and a sword. It looks like despite going through so many things, Kiana is still embracing freedom and hope. I just love seeing how much she's changed. Yeah, I think everyone will enjoy watching her grow and evolve. Now, let's check out the weapons and stigmata recommended for Hersher of Finality. In the new version, you'll see the new weapon, Key of Anonymity, and the new pry arm, Domain of Genesis. The design also goes well with the battle suit, shining like the moon as Kiana's new identity comes to light. The stigma set, in the name of finality, shares the same design philosophy as the Hersher of Truth stigma set. The three stigmata outline the extraordinary journey Kiana has been through, so there's a lot of deep ties between them. That's all for the introduction of the Hersher of Finality. Here comes another new battle suit, 
She's an imaginary type lightning damage dealer. Her name is Hersher of Origin, right in May. Hersher of Origin attacks with her wing blade, showing off her incredible sword skills. While in battle, she can charge up wing blade with mind body insight. After mind body insight is maxed out, tap attack when sheathing or other specified moments to draw her sword and cast Regressive Origin, which freezes time in the surrounding area. During this time, tapping attack will also trigger attack sequence 2, casting an extra Sin of Killing, which deals continuous lightning damage over a short amount of time. After activating her ultimate, slide to have Hersher of Origin launch a series of slashes in which each slash deals lightning damage. After launching a certain number of slashes, she will deal the final blow. Judging by the gameplay demo, I think May's attack moves look better than ever. Right? Becoming a Hersher of Origin means May has grown a lot. She's taken on the will of her predecessors and discovered her life's path, all with strength and fortitude. May's growth has been full of hardship, but she's lucky to have met Kiana, her friends at St. Freya, and the 13 Flame Chasers. It was with their guidance that May was able to become the Hersher of Origin. May has grown so much. As Hersher of Origin, May is much more free and at ease thanks to her confidence in her own strength. I think her outfit stylings remind me of Alicia's. Is that a coincidence? You're right, there is a resemblance. You can see it, for example, in her purple crystal which looks a lot like the magic crystal Alicia uses to attack. It represents the authority of origin. In white and gold highlight May's sense of sanctity and happiness, which you can also find in Alicia's design. Of course, May has some fancy new weapons as well. The new weapon, Key of Limpidity, and the new pry arm, Domain of Unity, will also be released in the new version. The stigmata represents several key moments in May's life, meeting Kiana, joining World Serpent, and meeting the 13 Flame Chasers. It's so emotional reminiscing on all the ways May has grown. Plus, the two new battlesuits have some Easter eggs hidden in as well. There are skills that'll allow you to stack buffs between Hersher of Finality and Hersher of Origin. When Hersher of Finality, Hersher of Origin, and Hersher of Truth are on the same team, Hersher of Finality's combo attacks are enhanced. When Hersher of Finality enters with Joint Bursting through Hersher of Truth's special QTE, she will switch to Time Flint form. But when Hersher of Finality enters with Joint Bursting through Hersher of Origin's special QTE, she will switch to Blade form. After activating her ultimate, Hersher of Finality will jump into the air and quickly deal lethal damage to enemies under the light of the cold moon. When Hersher of Origin and Hersher of Truth are on the same team, Hersher of Finality's ultimate will become Joint Ultimate, causing all team members to deal more elemental damage. It's awesome seeing them all on the same team. From Saint Freya to the moon, these three girls have grown to become brave fighters, drawing on each other's strengths and believing in one another. And I know they'll keep on following their hearts to fight for all that is beautiful in the world. In version Kiana, we'll also get to meet the new elf, Kiana Kaslana. She provides fire and lightning support. And based on the leader's damage type, she can also give a corresponding elemental damage boost. When casting her ultimate, she'll lob a baseball bomb. It deals damage on explosion and draws in nearby enemies, reduces switch cooldown, and increases elemental damage taken by enemies. Now that's a powerful elf, and she looks so cute too. The star-shaped hairband reminds me of Kiana's original battlesuit, White Comet. I love the sense of nostalgia it gives off. And that's all for Battlesuits. Next up, we're going to introduce Part 1's final story chapter, Toward a New Tomorrow. This is something you won't want to miss. The plot comes to a head as we get to see the end of Part 1. In Story Chapter 35, our heroes will take on new problems as they fight to reclaim the Earth. Meanwhile, Project Stigma and Chimera Energy will both pose new challenges for them to face. By coordinating their efforts, Kiana and her friends finally reach the cocoon of finality, and now they will face against an enemy who has also mastered the authority of finality, Kevin. The final showdown is about to begin. Yes! Kevin! Part 1's final boss will be making his debut. Kevin now has full control of the power of finality thanks to Project Stigma. In this battle, he'll show us all the original authority of finality. Kevin will summon a huge This Worldly Beast and mount it. This Worldly Beast will have three arms, and each arm will hold Leviathan's onlooking, Chimera system, 
and Diabolical Transcendence. They correspond to the Paleozoic Era, the Mesozoic Era, and the Neozoic Era. You'll need to coordinate between the Hersher of Finality, Hersher of Origin, and Hersher of Truth in this fight against Kevin and his summon entities. On the first platform, have Hersher of Finality jump in the air to defeat the summoned Shadow of Era Annihilation. Their hooked claws can help you reach higher ground to defeat the Paleozoic Era Leviathan's onlooking before moving on to the next platform. On the second platform, you'll control the newly joined Hersher of Origin in battle. The Mesozoic Era Chimera System detaches from this worldly beast to automatically trace and attack targets. Make good use of Hersher of Origin's attack and weapon active to fight back against Whirly Beast's constant slashes. On the third platform, Hersher of Truth will join the battle. Kevin will summon Shadow of Era Annihilation and the Neozoic Era Diabolical Transcendence to attack. Have Hersher of Truth cast combo attacks to lock on and take down several Shadows of Era Annihilation in one go. Kevin will use this worldly beast to perform some devastating attacks, so make sure to time your evasions just right. Wow, this boss is destructive and dangerous. Just from his moves and size, you can tell he packs a punch. And that's just Kevin's summon. He can enter another form himself to fully showcase his mastery of the power of finality. It shows us a more dominant, lethal side of him. You can explore all this new content and more once the final chapter is released. After the final chapter is released, and before version Kiana ends, you can also have fun with the limited time bridge theme, Above the Moon which will share a close link with the final battle. You won't want to miss this great opportunity to really soak in all the tension. Along with the new story content and boss, we also have some fantastic special bonuses for our captains. After the release of version Kiana up until April 6th, you can complete Story Chapter 33 in the name of the truth to get a stigma option that will grant one of the stigmata recommended for Hersher of Origin. Complete Story Chapter 34, The Moon's Origin and Finality, to get a Hersher of Origin character card. Wow, that's awesome! If you're looking to get Hersher of Origin and haven't completed Story Chapter 34 yet, remember to do so before the event ends. After Story Chapter 35 is released, you can earn plenty of other rewards as well. Complete the new chapter missions to get the bridge-themed Train to the Future, Crystals, and Stygian Nymph's new outfit, Estonia in spring. The new bridge theme's design has subway stylings. It'll feel like we're heading on to the next stop of a new journey. And Zayla's new outfit will be pretty unique to the game so far too. With a story this fantastic and all these rewards to earn, there are so many reasons to look forward to the final chapter. After all this talk about the story, we can't skip over the featured event, Bustling Holiday Symphony Al Fine. It looks like an arcade shooter where you'll be able to fight alongside everyone from St. Freya and the Golden Courtyard. In each stage, you can control your character to jump between different platforms and cast skills at the right time to defeat enemies. Make sure to take down all the enemies or complete the limited time stage challenge to move on to the next stage. You'll be able to unlock a total of 10 characters. Playing the event will earn you character experience materials that upgrade their basic stats and unlock new passive skills. Play the scoring game to win Super Luck coupons that you'll use to do a power reroll for event weapons. In Good Fortune Treasury, you can use event items to draw new weapons for event characters. You can star up these weapons to make them more powerful and increase their affix slots. On the equipment screen, you can also do a power reroll and refresh power affixes to get different grades of affixes. Spend more reroll items to open up more advanced reroll options the probabilities for obtaining different grades of affixes will vary. In moving up special stages, clear a stage to gain three buffs at random. Then choose one of the buffs as the active special effect for the current challenge round. After completing the challenge, you can earn Dragon Gate window decals and more based on your score. Plus, you can get the Jade Moon emblem, which will display the highest floor you've cleared. Try out different event modes to get shop tokens, which can be exchanged for Fallen Rosemary's new outfit, crystals, Rabbit Homo emblem, reroll device attack option type B, and more. Fallen Rosemary got a new outfit. Different from the previous westernized designs, this outfit draws inspiration from Eastern fantasies. On its back, you'll find her skirt is made from a feathery material, giving her a light and airy look. 
and look for the new event Mirage Rift, which will be launched in version Kiana. The event features a challenge mode called Annihilated Mirage and daily stages of Migrating Mirage. Annihilated Mirage and Migrating Mirage have four phases that will become available in order over time. In each phase, Annihilated Mirage will contain three different stages. You must use a specific character in each stage, a character you already have, or a trial character. In Migrating Mirage, there is only one stage for each phase. You can choose one of the three designated characters or trial characters to start the challenge. The specific characters for different stages have special stage skills and base stat bonuses. On the prep screen, you can select signets for equipment. You'll be able to choose from exclusive signets and nexus signets. Select the right nexus signets to help you in battle. The first time you clear a stage at any difficulty, you'll receive an iChan coin. You can use it to enhance your character skills and become stronger. This new version is full of events. I hope every captain has a blast joining in. We've got lots of great things in store for our captains with this new version. Complete event missions in the new version to earn spring options. Options include a chance to get Ancient Willpower, Ancient Legacy, Einstein's Taurus, Honkai Shard, SP Valkyrie Fragment option, and more. Open the special letter placed under the bridge and read it to get five Focus Supply Cards. Join the final chapter's web event and story jigsaw puzzle event to win up to 720 crystals. Version Kiana will also feature the supply event, Pure Minded Shadow. You'll be guaranteed to get five Focus Supply Cards in every 10 supply drops, and you can win up to 40 Focus Supply Cards. If you're looking for Hersher of Origins recommended weapons and stigmata, you won't want to miss this event. Select Supply Rotation will also be available in the new version. For the first three rounds of Focus Select, there will be a 30% discount on the first 10 drops each round. And spin bonuses will also be available in the new version. You can spin crystals during supply events to get Hersher of Flame Scion's character card and rank up stamps for Hersher of Flame Scion, Spina Astera, Starchasm Nyx, and more. You also have a chance to win Hersher of Flame Scion's new outfit, Flowering Luminance. Hersher of Flame Scion's outfit takes design notes from the legendary Firebird, the Phoenix, alongside more traditionally auspicious elements such as the outfit's Jade Pendant and Red Rope. The attack visual effects feature plenty of fireworks, bringing the festive motif together. Lee Su Shang also has a new outfit, Auspicious Dazzle. I really love this outfit, especially with the little white rabbit on her head. It makes Lee Su Shang look so cute. The battle visual effects feature plum blossoms and landscapes, both giving an aura of auspiciousness. Use bee chips to purchase Lee Su Shang's new outfit. And that's all for version Kiana. It looks so amazing, I can't wait to play it. But I still have a question. Since part one of Honkai Impact 3rd's main story is coming to a close, what will the plans be for the future? I got you. Up next is an afterword for part one of Honkai Impact 3rd's main story. An entirely new story is already in the works. Honkai Impact 3rd is going to receive major tech and artistic upgrades, so stay tuned. I look forward to all new adventures with our captains in the new year, and I can't wait to see everyone continue to grow with Honkai Impact 3rd. Well, I hate to say it, it's time to call it a day. Captains, see you next time. Goodbye.